Hello, Ben. Gee, I thought you were missing. What? What's all I this? I was not actually missing in episode four. Good, we thought... I watched it. I laughed. We laughed. We laughed? Yes, we... me and Paul. You, Paul who? Paul Scholes, former Manchester United and England midfielder. What are you doing with Paul Scholes? So, well, did he say anything about me? I have a recording of something he said about you, actually. Oh, go on then. Yes, yes, please. He looks really happy to me to be fourth. This is a club that... Oh. Huh. No, they need to be challenging to win the league. Hi, right, Paul. Salford, not Manchester United. I'm lucky. Uh, thank you, G. Oh, that's a... Could have texted me. All right, run the intro. God damn it. Right then, viewers, welcome back to the Salford story. Uh, the first bit of news today is that Gareth Seddon, the man in our hearts at the moment, I think, I think he's been probably our best player of the series so far, is injured. He's got a damaged foot. Nine goals in 15, and now he's out. So we're going to have to sort that out somehow. Uh, two games today, we're going to play against Stamford and Ilkeston. Uh, hopefully a couple of wins. Paul Scholes has already slagged me off, saying, oh, he's happy with fourth. We are quite happy with fourth. Five points off the top. Um, it's, it's going okay. There's no, little to complain about. Out of the FA Cup, sure. But we'll deal with that. Since we last met in that FA Cup game, we won one and lost one. Um, disappointing, but again, let, let's bounce back today. A couple of league games, and then we're going to fly forward a little bit into the save uh, and, and push forward on. Actually, do you know what we might do? I, next episode, I may bring you a couple of, couple of cup games. Oh, interesting. Anyway, this is the team for the first game of the day. We're going to stick to what we sort of played last episode, although we changed it around a little bit with Aharon. Um... I, I forget what he wants. Lynch in goal. Uh, Johnson and Lukic at the back. Moses is just in front. Kebby and Alaron are going to play on the, uh, either wing-back position. The cow is in the middle with Hadland, uh, Clark playing in behind Paul and Livesey. I guess that's how you say his name. Livesey? Livesey? Sam? Samuel? Uh, mainly because we've got injuries. Obviously, we could play Richie Allen. We could play Craig Tidy. Uh, but Seddon and Webber both out now. Two of probably our best strikers in the game, uh, which is going to be a problem for us. Six, to, six weeks still. Three to six weeks for Danny Webber. We need him back. We need him back soon. So, into the game we go. After a disappointing in a couple of uh, fixtures we're looking to bounce back right here uh, I want to try and move the save forward a little bit I think the end of the season we'd be far more exciting than, than this period uh, so we will try and move it on a little bit we'll decide what we do next episode towards the end of the episode but yeah hopefully you're still enjoying it if you are enjoying the series so far drop a like before we begin lots of love I mean we technically have begun but you know what I mean Right, they're playing a very standard formation, whereas I go for the fancy let's try something no one else is doing formation so here we go when I say nobody else I mean in this division <laughs> Right, let's make sure the team talk is top-notch. That's very important. Three of them look happy. Okay, got to keep an eye on fitness uh, throughout this game. We've got a few midfielders that are struggling, uh, but hopefully, as we can see, they're in the white kit away from home. Let's get a win. So we can see that Stamford are having a very, well, quite a poor season by all accounts. 20th place, 14 points. Uh, we're 12 points ahead as things stand uh, in fourth place. Obviously, I think well, this will put us a game in hand on most of our position, but I'm going to assume they play very soon. And after this very in-depth and long chat, we're at half-time. So, great news. Let's change things. What I'm going to do in these early stages is put Luke Clark uh, and move him backwards just a touch, and then we're going to bring Mr. Tidy on, Craig Tidy. We've not seen enough of him so far this season, so on the pitch he is. What a weird way of phrasing that. On the pitch he is. Obviously, during this run-up to Christmas, if you're in the future, hi. Uh, sorry that this doesn't apply to you. But, oh, they're, they're, he's offside. I'll carry on with my discussion. Um, we're going to do some double uploads this week uh, as it's Christmas. So, as I say, enjoy there's a player called Carr. That's a similar surname to myself. And by similar, I mean the exact same. But yes, double uploads, so that'll be fun. Pull into Kebby, Kebby on goal. Oh my, the, the, the ball has gone. The ball has gone. We, we, at this level of football, we don't have ball spare. But my God, corner kick for them. Ball played in. I can't believe it. James Paul has scored an own goal. Carr was near it, so we can respect that. But oh dear. Not a relation, I should clarify. For those very confused, my surname is Carr. Sellers, ball in. We... I've never seen anything like it in my life. Slow motion, show it again. My God, that is special. Right, we're going attacking. It's down to Craig Tidy and the boys up front to get us a goal somehow without Danny, uh, without Danny Seddon. I've, I've, I've mixed the two strikers we've got injured. Without Gareth Seddon, we're going to be in all sorts of bother. There's not long to go here. I can't handle it. Oh, my God. Corner. I'm deciding. I'm, I'm calling things corners that aren't corners. It was a free kick. Jellyman plays about to Clifton. Mr. Lynch in goal was doing very well. Um, overall... We're not doing very well. Richie Allen, come on and just, just look busy. We've got no time left, though. We're all knackered. It's just a disgrace. 
It's a, it's a pigging disgrace. Corner kick, ball in. Well, we're still fourth. So, at least Paul Scholes will be happy. Ball played in. It's a capacity crowd. I mean, seriously, what is the point of it in opening that stand? There it is then. 2-0. To a team that were... Oh, God. And there it is then. Stanford 2, Salford 0. Brilliant. Let's go on with the next game, shall we? Forget about this one. It's over. Okay, then, welcome back. Uh, second game, that first game. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. That's a, that's, a, that's a quote from some film. So, we've got a fully fit team, almost, in terms of the players that are actually available. Obviously, we've still got injuries to Weber and Seddon that I can't stop talking about. Uh, we've changed things a little bit. On the surface, it looks like we've changed a lot. Actually, all we've done is bring the fullbacks back a little bit, push the midfielder forward a little bit, and that's all we've done. So, the system and the shape hasn't changed too much. It's just a little bit more conservative, and it hopefully means we can take control of the midfield that little bit more. Uh, into the game we go, then. We've got relatively the same team the cow had an burn in the middle uh, Richie Allen's going to play as a false nine with a shadow striker just behind him in fact Craig Tidey's going to start from the offs uh, from the off what's Clark done this season absolutely pig all uh, Lynch Lucas Johnson Neil Haran uh, the cow the burn the burn I've caught I'm just going to put do you know what I've done it now it's too late it's too late it's too late now because now I've just I've said it we're all thinking it the cow and the burn and Hadland in the middle uh, Allen Tidey and Paul up front let's get a goal let's win some matches god damn it again they're playing this simple formation oh let's play two wingers and hope that they can attack yeah because that works in this division it actually does work in this division January. January. Right then, here we are, playing Ilkeston. I feel I feel confident. Spirits are high. I don't know why. I don't know why they're high. Maybe it's because I'm just... I'm feeling festive. So Ilkeston, much like Stamford, are, are down there. These should be two gimme matches. They should be easy wins for us here. So far, that ain't been the case. So we're going to have to look to do something else. Let, fluid, fluid counter. And immediately they've got a chance. Brilliant. I mean... Oh, tidy on it. The cow. Here we are. The cow and the burn. I quite, I quite like that. Can anyone smell beef? Oh, maybe the cow's burnt. <gasps> comedy. Oh God, For comedy, comedy. Talk about comedy. My grief. Oh, your formation's wrong. Your system's wrong. He's passed it back. <sighs> I can't account for this again. Look, this is this is totally my fault. I mean, yep. God, oh, that's just packed crowd it's just not good enough it's not good enough we're going to get to half time we're going to be one nil down again for god right I'm playing wingers I'll find some from somewhere right Mr. Poole on this right side Alan left side alright I don't care if you don't like it this is what we're doing now we're going to conform to what everyone expects and Hume which I've now been told is his name is going to come on for Mr. Tidy he's going to play as an advanced forward he's going to love it we're going to win Fight fire with fire burn that cow good start to the half come on then uh, right we're taking it off counter we're going to attacking highly structured I've, that is the complete opposite of what we were playing in the first half let's hope it works if we have another boring 1-0 loss this is just I'm going to call the episode 1-0 and everyone's going to go and, and now you all know oh my god it's over it's over this is rubbish this is just this is just rubbish what what I'm going to be I'm going to be sacked not because I should be but because I've, I've seen the documentary on the Class of 92, they don't hang about when it starts going tits up. Oh, God. Don't look back and worry about the result. I've gone calm. This is the lower leagues. I should have throttled them. Well, this has been an exciting episode of the Salford story, hasn't it? I just... And the worst thing is, their goal comes from a back pass from us. This is their goal. Like, I mean, yes, we have not scored. Yes, we've lost 1-0. Well, he's dropped. I mean, that's for damn sure. For God's sake. At some point, we will start winning matches. I'm sure of it. Because it literally can't stay like this. I'm not angry. I'm just that form is... I'm angry. I am fuming. Right, when we come back, I'm not sure what games we're going to play. I'm going to play the FA Trophy and the Northern League Challenger. Uh, and then if we get through in those competitions, maybe we'll show you that next time. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I mean, I'm going to start breaking things. Uh, do leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. We love with care. For me, Dr. Benji FM. I'll see you again soon. If I don't see you before, have a Merry Christmas. I'm going to be saying that for the next four episodes. You're going to love it. Goodbye. Livid. Absolutely livid.